Director trigger to Sri Lanka's current economic crisis is high inflation. Due to the ongoing war in Ukraine, the food and energy prices are surging, hurting especially the poor in the country. Uh, when import prices surge like this, uh, the central bank didn't choose to devalue its currency first, but instead tried to burn through its foreign reserve. And as a result, its uh, debt repayment capacity was heavily jeopardized. So now, the country did choose to devalue its currency, then the market expectation is it's going to depreciate even further. So now it is a real test for the government's ability to reorganize the economy and try to stabilize the market confidence. Inflation pressure will stay in place for a very long time as the war goes on. And then for its domestic politics and economic management, there are some root problems. The fiscal deficit has been widening even before COVID. Um, the government is trying to increase its spending in infrastructure and cut taxes. Uh, and that has increased the burden of the debt repayment problem significantly. So in the coming months, there has to be a clear agenda on the fiscal austerity measures, how the government will try to increase its tax base while cutting back on the fiscal spending. It's going to be very, very political unpopular since it is still in a recession, but it's a necessary step.